Hello, this is Ole with OpenBOM and today I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instruction how you can use OpenBOM for SOLIDWORKS to create build materials but also to include PDF files of SOLIDWORKS drawings connected to build materials and upload those PDF files to connected cloud storage. The feature can be very useful. Imagine you create build materials share it with your contractors or production training floor and they would like to have a direct access to uh, PDF files of the drawings. Some sounds very useful, we get a lot of requests for these features. So how you can do it step by step? You have SOLIDWORKS assembly and you have OpenBOM plugin installed. Now you need to go to settings and in settings you need to do two things. First of all you need to enable cloud settings you need to authorize your cloud storage account. Let me give it for example for Dropbox. Although it's already authorized, I would like to have a demonstration of step by step. This is your cloud storage account. It's not our cloud storage account. You authorize it with your account, your password. <coughs> and you can see that after a few steps, we need to do this as navigation lines and the account is authorized. Is everything is fine, fine, you will see this settings shows up and uh, authorization is done. And now you need to check send drawings. Uh, there are other options, we can discuss them separately, but for the option to send drawings, you need to check this box, send drawings. It means that OpenBOM will be sending drawings uh, you created for your SOLIDWORKS assembly. So OpenBOM will not create new drawings. We'll only select drawings that are available for this assembly and sub-assemblies located in the same folder as assembly and sub-folders. So after uh, configuration is done, I click on OK and now I need to create BOM. So it's not different from how you create BOM usually so you create update build materials and we start seeing how openbom is extracting data uh, there is an application called openbom monitor in general you don't need to use this application but this application can give you an idea about um, how a data is uh, downloaded uploaded to the cloud storage so you can see the sending data to the cloud <coughs> OpenBOM is generating PDF files from drawings using SOLIDWORKS and uh, as the data is uh, generated, SOLIDWORKS drawings are generated, you can see in the monitor that uh, data was uploaded to the Dropbox, the drawings and PDF files were uploaded to the Dropbox and I can click to uh, build materials. And now browser is open with uh, OpenBOM build materials and you can see that we created bill of materials. Now I created assembly drawings for each sub-assembly in this assembly. So the these three sub-assembly, primary bearing, secondary bearing, and wheel assembly uh, have drawings. If you can see what happened is that OpenBOM created an additional property called drawing file in the Dropbox and uh, these files link to these files are included in the bill of materials how to get them very simple you click on this property and you're getting drawing files so you click on another one and you're getting drawing file as well I think it's pretty cool and I think it's also very useful for those people who you will be sharing uh, build materials with because they are not only getting access to uh, data and the bill of materials but they also getting data to drawings one tip what if you created uh, build of materials with drawings and you did everything i explained but you don't have this um, property drawing file in the dropbox in a bomb so quick tip it's probably related to the view that you have ensure that the view that you use 
especially for multi-level pump, ensure that this view is uh, has this property included, drawing, filing, and dropbox. And if you don't have it, you can find it in the list of all properties and include it with view and then save it in the view. So the property will show up in a box. So that was all it with a step-by-step -step instruction how you can create build materials, including SolidWorks drawings, and upload them to your favorite cloud storage system. Thank you very much and talk soon. Bye-bye.